So, Dialogue Match has been in the works for a little while, and Isotope has asked me to roll it out for you guys. Um, and it's this little plug-in here. Uh, we're going to go over it in a little bit. But first, I want to talk a little bit about Dialogue in general. Um, most people know the concept of Dialogue editing, and some people don't. You know, when television shows and feature films and scripted content get shot, they're shot over a series of, of a time in a day. They're shot from different angles. So you, the, the entire scene is usually put together with three or four different angles. And that um, creates a little bit of a problem when it's played back. The picture might look nice and smooth and the, the, the storyline makes sense. But if you're hearing all of the uh, cuts and feeling all of them, you're kind of taken out of the story because you're like, oh, this is all kind of chopped up and put together. So the process of dialogue editing, or the job of the dialogue editor, is to s essentially smooth that out and make sure that each one of those cuts kind of flows together so that that scene feels like a single moment in time. And one of the biggest problems that we've always had when mixing dialogue for feature film and television in scripted content is sometimes you'll hit something, it doesn't match. One of the first big problems you run into is if you're replacing a line of dialogue with ADR, you sometimes uh, have a nice clean ADR recording, and then you have production that has a certain feel to it, a certain re reverberance, a certain tonality to it. And then when you hit this nice clean, key, nice clean piece of ADR, you bump on it. And you're like, ah, that was added in later. So we needed a tool to kind of help us make what we were adding to that scene uh, seamless and to match the other production. And you know, dialogue is usually recorded in several ways. You know, it's usually there's a, a boom or two. It's about five feet away from the actors most of the time. Most of the actors are wearing wireless mics. They sound different than the boom, right? So what we wanted to do was have a tool that allowed you to kind of make some of that work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate for you this plug-in here. But first, we're going to kind of look around the plug-in a little bit, right? So like most of the standard uh, audio suite plugins, um, this is the standard stuff that we run. Uh, I'm going to leave it running an entire selection. I'm going to use playlists and playlists. So we're going to take it from where we got it and put it back to where we got it. There are two parts to it for the reference. There's a reference file section where we'll go in and we'll capture a reference file or a piece of sound that we want our other recording to be matched to. So we'll load that in first. Then we're going to load in what we want it to apply to. And then we're going to be able to change th one of three different pieces of, uh, of the sound itself. So we're going to be able to change the tonality or the EQ. And we're going to change the reverb. And, and we're going to be able to add the ambience to make it all match. And what happens is it's more machine learning algorithms. Some of these things were already in RX7, like ambient match and EQ match was already in there. But uh, reverb match is kind of a new algorithm that was added in. Um, and it's actually quite good, because what it'll do is it'll analyze. It only needs about three seconds of sound. It'll analyze the, the reverberations of that particular recording. And then it'll, and then it'll give you what it thinks is the best best possible match to it. And then you'll be able to uh, edit each one of those settings separately. So let's have a look at it. All right, let's just have a quick look at this scene Granted, here. Granted, we lived lame with conscience to our graves without pursuing on all accounts the opportunity to connect you with my dear sister, your poor mother. Mm -hmm. OK, so on this particular scene, and I'll run it again, we're listening to uh, a we would boom. We cease to draw breath if we lived lame with conscience to our graves, without pursuing on all accounts the opportunity to connect you with my dear sister, your poor mother. You lift your okay, so now they they want to replace that piece with a piece of ADR. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna capture the, that piece of recording of that boom, and I'm gonna load that into the reference side, okay, and then I'm going down here and I'm going to I'm going to mute that. And then I'm going to load in uh, a lav. Let's start with a lav. So what we're going to try and do in this particular example is I'm going to, I've, I've had a boom mic from production. And now I want to do is make that uh, lav from an ADR session match that boom. Okay. So I'm going to load that lav in 
from the ADR recording to the other side. And you see what it's done here is it's actually selected an EQ curve it thinks will work applied to that, um, that lav to make it sound like the boom. And if we click here on the reverb, we'll see it's also analyzed the reverb and it thinks it's got a decay time and uh, pre-delay and all that stuff set up. And then the third thing is the ambience. Now, I can tell you from working with the tool for a little while, it's a little overzealous with the ambience. <laughs> uh, the EQ is sometimes a, a little over top, but the way we're gonna audition this is we're gonna audition this. We would simply cease to draw breath if we limped laying with conscience to our graves without now, if we wanted to A-B that against the original, we would simply cease to draw hold breath if we limped our lay cursor over the little ear under the reference without, file. We would and simply cease to draw breath if we limped lay to connect you with my dears. We would simply cease to draw breath if we limped lay. We would simply cease to so, draw breath if we limped lay with conscience. What I could do now is I, I feel like I've got just a little bit much on the EQ in a few spots. We would simply cease to draw breath if we limped laying with conscience to our graves okay. without pursuit. We would simply cease to draw breath if we need to connect you and with And the my reverb's dear a little wet, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. We would simply cease to draw breath if we limped. We would Compared simply cease to, the to draw breath if we limped laying with conscience. All accounts, the opportunity to connect. We would simply cease to draw breath if we limped the laying mother. What do you think, Marty? Uh, I'll buy a dozen. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and render that. And now we have our piece of ADR matching. We would simply cease to draw breath if we limped laying with conscience to our graves without pursuing on all accounts the opportunity to connect you with my dear sister, your poor mother. You and that, in a nutshell, was dialogue match. Okay? Thank you. So just to show you I wasn't kidding about the matching part, we're going to split it now between Laying with conscience to this is the ADR, and we're going to switch back accounts, to the production. The opportunity to connect you with my dear sister, your poor mother. If you lived to your grave, you'd cease to. Okay, here we have another piece that we're going to replace with ADR. Oh, let's use the boom this time. So I'm going to go ahead and capture this. And my, oh, I'm just going to clear both first to start. And by the way, this not only works with ADR, but it works matching production. I've already started using it in shows where I have a master shot and I have, um, I only have wires on the master shot and the boom is, you know, 20 feet away or in the next room or whatever. But I'll actually go further down into the scene, get a feel for the boom where I think it's right, usually on the two shots and things like that. I'll capture the ambience of that or the ambience match uh, and the, uh, all the rest of this, you, uh, reference select it, then I'll go back to the beginning of the scene, take the wires, apply it to it, and it makes the wires sound like a boom that's five feet away. It's pretty amazing. All right, so let's go back to this piece. Let's recapture. And then we're going to kill that, and we're going to have a look at that. Dear sister, your poor mother. If you limp to your grave, you'd see. So, uh, actually, let's use the boom. If you limp to your grave, you'd see. So let's have a listen to what it did. Oops, wrong piece. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath anyway. All right, let's capture it. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath anyway. If you limp to your compared grave, to this, to if you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw. You'd cease to draw so breath it's a anyway. little dry. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath anyway. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath anyway. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath anyway. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath anyway. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath Just anyway. Just EQ a little to your liking. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease to draw breath anyway. If you limp to your grave, you'd cease. So and then render it out. 